Hi everybody. Um, okay, today we're going to be doing a little something different. Uh, I'm trying to get myself in there. Hi. Um, we are going to be doing a collaboration with YouTube members. Uh, and this is regarding the um, crimes of Grindel Grindelwald. So I am not, and it's it kind of is inspired by the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. So, um, it is also hosted by Faith Alfonso of Abstract Possibilities, and I will have that in my notes. I'm going to be doing a painting, of course, uh, another acrylic, and this is one of the um, Fantastic Beasts that are in the movie, I believe. Uh, hopefully they are in the movie. It might have been in the last one. I'm not sure because I didn't really see it, so I don't know. Uh, I am not going to be uh, videotaping my palette this time because I'm having issues with trying to get that picture in picture and it just isn't working for me. So uh, without further ado, uh, shall we get started? Okay. So I already have my picture traced. I'm going to put this on the website as to what this actually is because I really don't know what it is either. I just know it's a really weird looking thing. So, um, my colors, uh, my paints for today, I will go over them. Hopefully, they'll stay in this palette without falling over. I have Payne's Gray right here. I am going to use some Cerulean Blue. Cadmium Yellow Medium. Quinacridone Red. Of course, Titanium White. And I may add Cobalt Blue. I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to start out with the background. I always like to get my background in first. And I am going to use one of my large brushes. Uh, I'm going to use a number 16. And it's an angle brush because I want to kind of get around here pretty good. And this is going to be sort of like the, I think I'm going to start out with some cobalt blue. <clears throat> and some white that I'm going to put out on my palette. So I've got my cobalt blue, or I'm sorry, it's cerulean blue, pardon me, cerulean blue. I'm going to put that out on my palette and some white. My dog is having a field day over here trying to get comfortable. And I am going to actually put in some of my golden uh, <clears throat> glazing liquid as well. I want this to be able to blend well. Hopefully I can get it open. Yes, good. So I'm going to be putting that out on my palette as well. Just so I can glaze a little bit and get some of those blues in the way I want them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with some of my, just straight off the palette, my Cerulean Blue. I'm loading up my brush. I don't know if you can see this. Uh... Okay, I'm loading up my brush. Okay, and I'm just going to make some crisscross strokes up in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this on the edges. And as I go in further, I'm going to mix that with a little bit of white. Pick up some of my glazing liquid. Make sure you get your sides. I'm just using this background uh, from the picture that I found on the internet. Um, this actually had a few of these beasts here uh, in the picture, but I just picked out the one. I didn't want to have any kind of copyright problem, which could be a you know issue. I don't know if it is an issue yet, but. We want to try to keep uh, things from not happening here on the YouTube. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I got enough troubles, huh? Okay, so I'm mixing some of my white now with this blue. And I'm just bringing it on in. 
And I really want it to hit more in through here, you know, as I'm going around the beast here. I want that darker on the outside. Just kind of blend it on up. Dark back in here again. Get my sides. Now this is a 16 by 20 canvas, and it is a gallery wrap canvas. And you can tell that it's gallery wrap because it goes to the back. The staples will be in the back. That way, if you don't want to frame it, you don't have to. That's why we want to make sure that our sides are colored in very nicely. Making sure everything's covered very nicely. Blending it, blending it. So this movie that's coming out is, uh, I guess, by Rollins, the art, uh, the writer who has written all the Harry Potter books, and she's coming out with something new. So this is the new. We're getting around there. Going to go a little lighter down in through here. Just a little lighter. Probably going to have to get more uh, paint on my palette here. Now, I hope that you like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I got a lot of cute little paintings up, and I have some ideas coming for the rest of the year. Uh, we'll be painting some interesting things. Collaborations are always nice because you get to meet all the other artists that are on YouTube. And it's just a lot of fun. Painting is fun anyway, so it doesn't matter if you're in a collaboration or not. It just uh, It's just nice to be painting with other artists and... crafters everybody is talented everybody has their own special gift and it's just nice to see what other people are doing Now I do that crisscross stroke only because I think it blends better uh, for me, especially in the canvases. You want to get this, these. Make sure your white spots aren't showing, showing through. Um, Yeah, I was trying to do the um, palette, uh, you know, with a camera, but it just, I, I'm just having a heck of a time with it. It takes me so long to edit, and it just doesn't come out right. So I decided to, like, give that a break until I can figure out what I need to do. I, pro I think I need a new computer. My computer just isn't 
equipped for that kind of thing. So, I just can't get that right now, but that's okay. Things work out for the best. So, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, right now, it's in, I'm in October, and it is so hot that I have the air on. I also have shorts on and a sleeveless top. I have just been very extremely warm. So this will probably be the easiest part is getting the background in. Usually, uh, usually the easiest part anyways. like it a little textured so that's why I do the strokes the back and forth strokes and I'm using that glazing liquid so I can get into those little areas that don't want to get covered in the canvas it just helps and that could be because of the quality of the canvas that it's not going in or just the smoothness uh, you know canvases come in tech different textures and when I order these, I mean, it really doesn't state uh, the texture. So I just go with it because I get them at a different, uh, you know, a, a decent price. And you have to watch when you're painting. You know, you don't want to be overspending, especially when you start out. You want to see if you like it first. You can't be just uh, painting and spending a ton of money. Now you want to look at some of my other collaborations that are on YouTube also. I've done um, Stranger Things. We did Beauty and the Beast. I did an Endangered Species with uh, one other person. Trying to get um, something going for some other people on YouTube uh, so that might be coming in March sometime I think people are afraid to do that because it's it's hard but it's things aren't hard I mean you just make them hard if you you know lots of times it seems harder than it is that's like painting I mean it's it's it can be hard but you have to relax when you're doing it you have to try to just stay calm. It's just fun. You can't think that you're going to be the greatest painter to start out. That takes time. It takes time to do this. Uh, I started painting, oh geez, I guess I was in my, well, I guess I was around 11. And I started to paint. And, uh, Believe me, I wasn't good at first, that's for sure. And I don't even know that I'm good now, but I think I'm better than I used to be. I would never have been able to do something like this years ago because I didn't have any confidence in myself. So you build your confidence. It's just really a good thing if you don't have, um, if you're down in the dumps, this kind of helps you to get um just makes you feel better all the way around it's it's just amazing what it can do okay get some of this in here i may be going to a smaller brush right now i'll just get some of that filled in Okay, I'm going to go back into my blue, get some more of that in here. It's like this thing is coming out of the clouds or the sky. 
guy. the way the back looks right now. Uh, I'm going to put this brush in my water and I'm going to get a number ooh, I don't know. I think this is a number four filbert. So I can get into these areas in here. So I'm just going to use some white because this is lighter in here. do this on here I actually did trace it because there's so many little pieces to it so uh, I thought well it's probably better to just trace it in okay let's get a little white into this too a little bit more white here Let me get my larger brush background in. Now um, I think what I want to do is get the eyes in. The eyes are blue so I'm just going to use that cerulean blue and get the eyes in with my filbert. So let's just maybe I'll need a smaller brush. I think so. I think I'm going to need something tinier. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to use my number two flat, and I'm going to just go ahead in here, and this is a Simply Simmons brush. You can use any kind that you would like. As long as it's a small one and you can get into the nooks and crannies. I kind of just went into my uh, glazing liquid. But I need to have this kind of dark in here because <clears throat> these pieces right here are lighter. Okay, this is lighter. Going into my white. I just want this to be a lighter blue. That a little darker. Got to get this dark. Probably gonna have to go over that a little bit. It's funny. This one here sort of reminds me of a bat in his eyes. being very careful here because I want to make sure I get that in nicely. Okay. And just a tad here. Now 
now the rest is kind of light. Kind of has this little bit of light here. Okay. Right here it's a little lighter. light and right in here kind of goes up a little bit into that lightness and let's see just get some light into this around in here kind of let me get some glazing liquid because this looks more like a glaze here some white uh, it's like glazed up but you know you want to have that looking pretty scary looking and there, right here is a little bit of that blue also but it's a little darker now the eyes are white but I am going to mix a little bit of blue in there only because I don't like things pure white in the eyes. So let's see how this looks. I want it to still look white. Now this might, yeah, this is a little too dark. Let me rinse up. Maybe if I rinse out the brush. It's always good to get the eyes in. It just uh, kind of sets the tone for all this. I'm going to have to come back in here, no doubt, just to make sure it looks more white than blue. See on this side here, this is the way it should look. It almost looks white, and that's what you want. darker in here. back into my blue because I want to get this nicely there we go 
and I'm going back into my blue for over here too just to get that darker I want that dark okay all right so um, now we're gonna go into the paints gray and I'm gonna get my uh, larger brush for that but uh, I'm now my paints gray is Academy um, paints gray so I'm putting that out on my palette and I'm going to use this brush and I think it's a number four flat okay I'm going to start painting in the legs here so just to get these in Probably need another coat of this. And it comes down through here. You can use a softer brush for this. I'm just basically getting the color in or the paint in uh, without too much of an issue here. Just trying to get it in, block it in, and then we can work on our next step. love that sound. I love the sound of paint going onto a canvas and that noise that it makes. It just, um, to me, that's just like a thrilling part of painting, the, the sounds that come out of it. And when I'm doing um, pastel, it just sounds so neat on the paper. I haven't done pastel for a while. We're going to have to do one. Hopefully in the new year, I'll be able to get that set up. You gotta tell me what you like, too, to see. Um, that's always a good point. You wanna like and subscribe. You wanna make comments. That helps me out, too. There's a little button over here that you can subscribe. That's something you want to take into consideration. Because that way I know if you're enjoying these paintings or not. I don't know. I don't know if you're enjoying anything that I'm doing. If it's too hard for you, if it's too complicated. Um, the paintings that I'm doing. I know that uh, recently I did the little baby calf. That might have been a little complicated, but this is for all levels, not just for the beginner. So, sometimes I'm more advanced than others. Now, this would be a beginner painting. It's not that hard. Uh, you're going to learn to shade in some areas so that it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension and that's what we're trying to do too teach you different things I want this to be a good experience not one that's bad
So if you go into your um, drawing with a little bit of paint, like from here, you're covering it up with the Payne's Gray, so you don't have to worry. Just make sure you have a light enough blue, because if it's too dark, you might not be able to cover it up. But Payne's Gray usually is pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to put that in my water. Let's see. I would like to get a nice little brush, but I think I might be just using my filbert here, that number four filbert. Okay, I'm going to grab some of my Payne's Gray, and I'm just going to put it in this little blue mixture that we had made. Okay. Now, the thing is, i got to make this a little bit darker. Alright. And we're going to just kind of go here, around here, and bring it down. Just bring it on down here. Okay. Just bring it on down. Kind of go in and just come out. So you're making like a little um, scoop there. Now wipe off your brush and go into the Payne's Gray straight. No white on it. And go back over this and blend it. Blend it. You want to blend it because this is sort of like highlighted right here because of the um, the way that I guess the light is shining. So I'm going to add a little blue into that Payne's Gray. I want to get a little bit of a bluish shadow right in through here. Just to bring out the blue that I have in the eyes and then the background also. And that'll blend real nice. And right here, right about right here, in the middle of that little opening there. We're gonna like bring it in and then come around like that. Okay, now we're gonna go back into our Payne's Gray. And perhaps I might need to add a touch of black into this Payne's Gray because it's a little too light. So I'm just gonna grab my Galleria Mars Black and put that out on my palette as well. Not sure, you know, sometimes you're not sure how things are going to mix, and so you just want to add when you are going along. And right now, I think I need some black in there just to kind of darken that up a little bit. Payne's gray might not be uh, exactly what I'm looking for. I like it here, I do like that, I like that a lot. But this has to be pretty dark in through here. Dark. All right. Wiping off my brush and grabbing some more of that gray. But I want a little bit more of that blue in there. Got to get that blue in there. So it's like a bluish gray. Just kind of feather it in a little bit. Feather it in there. Blend it. Blend it into that black. Just like that. Kind of blending it in. So I'm not pressing hard on my on my canvas. I'm just going very light to blend it. Very light. 
and let's see here if I can find a nice nice little squarey thing here hmm I have to get a nice square brush so that when I'm doing this that it uh, blends a little bit better I'm gonna try this one here this is my um, Princeton three-quarter inch oh that's no good that's got those uh, that's my rake brush sorry 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 well, I'm gonna get my square brush here this one my flat kind of go in with the flat here yeah I don't like the way that's coming on huh I'm surprised because normally um, Grumbacher is a pretty good paint I don't have trouble with it let's see how this one will work this is a number eight bright and that's a simply Simmons brush because I don't want these lines showing and that's what's bothering me and I might have to wait until this dries a little bit but I just want to there we go this looks much better a uh, little bit because it's wet it's kind of pulling off and that'll happen too with your paints and then in here uh, it's got that grayish color so I'm going to go into that a little bit of white into this Put that in there for now and at the top I wipe my brush off real good really well the top of that it's very light so just get that in so kind of okay and I'll probably add some more of that in there I'm going to add some more of my black right in here kind of blend it There we go. All right, we're gonna probably add a little bit more of that in there, and I'm gonna add this little bit of black on the side here, just a little, okay, just a little. And I'm gonna rinse that out real well. Rinse it out, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it while it's wet. And a little black coming up through there. Oh, I'm going to rinse that out again because I don't want that white. Okay. And coming up a little. You're going to pull it up. Pull the brush up so that it looks like it's dimensional here. There we go. There we go. All right. So far, so good. Looks like it's coming right out of the sky. Kind of neat. Um, I like the way it's coming along. Cool. Very cool. Um, okay, what I'm going to do here, I think this needs to be a little straighter here. So I'm just going to make it straight here. And we're going to make this this a little whiter as soon as that dries a bit. I want that to dry. All right. Okay, so uh, right now um, I have uh, my social art working brush. I'm going to use that. Um, and I'm going back into my Payne's Gray. And I am going to go over some of these areas here because I want them a little darker. I want them to blend in a little bit better. So, the social art working brush is really a little bit better for this. It it's softer and it's it just seems to work a little bit better with these um, 
areas. I'm going right over that also because I'm going to be putting in, it, it's kind of like the legs um, of this creature. Uh, there's the two back ones, uh, ones in the back and ones in the front, so they kind of just overlap one another. Not like here where there's an opening. There's a little bit more of an opening here. And um, let's see. I want to go in here a little bit more and just kind of come up with that like that. Come over here. This is relatively an easy painting. The only thing that <clears throat> you will have to pay attention to is the shading of all these things. Um, you got to get that light in there. And that sometimes can be difficult, you know, when you're learning to paint because you don't want this to be flat looking. And getting that in there kind of just helps to make it come standing out a little bit better. Just uh, helps to bring it out. straighter there. Um, let's see. I'm going to just go to this point right here. This is dark. Okay, and then I'm going back into my grayish white. I'm going to add a little bit more white to this. Um, if you can see this, I'm not sure uh, what my palette looks like. If you can see right there, it's it's a light gray, but it has some blue in it. And that blue is running down because I had that paint sprayed a little bit so it went dry because of the heat here. over here I'm going to start to blend that in better with the uh, black or my paints gray so just kind of like blending it When you blend, you just go very lightly, very lightly. Okay. Now, uh, it's almost the light in through here. So we're just going to kind of blend that a little bit. And kind of get that black, just kind of blend it out a little. through here it's gray Come down. normally I work from the top down but with this 
I'm doing a little differently. Um, I didn't want to from the top down it just seemed to be a little easier from working bottom up I'm just going very lightly on this Here, I want to get that a little bit lighter. I'm going to add some white. And I'm bringing it down. But I am going to, well, this has to be connected here. Um, there is some white through here a little bit, just a tad like a gray um, going back into my dark kind of just bringing it up here make sure it comes around here and this is quite big here through here actually this kind of has that gray gray look into this I'm going to rinse out that brush and in here I'm going to actually put a little bit more of the blue. I may have to make this a little darker in here, but I noticed that this actually comes up a little bit more here. So it's going to be like that. And I'll have to probably add a few more coats to this in order for it to kind of blend in. But I think what I'll do is I'll start out with some white. Because white is so opaque. And we'll be able to get that in there better. Okay. Alright. Now his nostrils are kind of white in, the, in here. Um... I'm going to do his teeth last because that's very, uh, very, very, it's more of a, well, what can I say, it's more detailed. gray up and through here. A little darker gray actually with a little bit of blue. So I'm going to add some blue to it. Uh, right in through here it's kind of that bluish gray. Now this is going to be really blue but I'm going to lighten it up some. going to tap that in a little. Tapping it in, some is in through here. 
there's a lot of that going on in here also. Just going to tap it in. Tap it all in and then I'll kind of do some um, work with the black or Payne's gray. And right over here we got some of that lighter or that bluish shade there. Wipe out my brush. I'm going to go into a lighter gray. And I'm going to put that in right here. And I think just a tad that comes up there. I'm going to have to blend that in also. All right, so I'm going to go back to my Payne's Gray. I'm not cleaning out my brush. And I am going to go over these things here, just very lightly, tapping it in, tapping it in. Let's see. And almost glazing over some of this, just glazing over it. Glazing over that. And I'm going to rinse it out again because I don't want my brush to be um, messed up. So I cleaned it out as best I could. Going to go back into that white gray. Just kind of do this here because I have to put some of those um, want you know some lines and details in this put down a little bit into that some one over here okay all right <clears throat> I'm going to go into my darker gray, still using this brush. We need to use this brush and just kind of go into this a little bit. Some that comes down, one that comes up. Comes one here. All right, now, rinse that out. I'm going into my white. Thinning it out a little bit with my, uh, my um, glazing liquid. I'm gonna come right over some of this here. I'm going to come back around this again with some more, more of the white. Because you need dark and light in order for it to look more like a real thing that's going on here. You want to get rid of any lines. I'm just kind of going over this with some glazing liquid. Ooh. rid of some of those lines that are in here. And I'm going to use some more of my Payne's Gray. Just kind of getting more of that dark in there. I'm going to get some glazing liquid on my brush. When you go over these, then it, it kind of just blends it better. There we go. Okay. A little bit more of my paint's gray. You'll find that white will take a little bit longer to dry.
I'm right back into my Payne's Gray again because I want to get this to smooth out a bit. Kind of like up a little. Okay, rinse out my brush. Now I'm going to go back into the white and come in here a little bit. some of that lighter shade. There we go. I'm going to let that dry a bit. Then I'm going to glaze over that. Now I'm going to get my black again. My paint's gray. Kind of just pushing it over this. Coming down to a little V there. Okay, so we're going to go here. Okay. dark. Around the eye here. I'm saving the teeth for last because that is more detailed and I want to be sure that I get that correct. If you have trouble getting into these little lines here, you know, feel free to use a smaller brush. I may be doing that actually in a minute. Getting a little smaller brush. Okay, rinsing that out a bit. I see that I need to get some blue in there, so I am going to go into my white with my little bit of glazing liquid and my blue and just kind of go in here because I mi missed that. I missed that. It should come over like that. Just a tad here. It should be okay because this is dark in through here, so that's fine that it's like that. I can add a little bit of this. Okay. Alright, so let's get some of our glazing liquid and our gray. over this. Probably have to go over this a few times. Oops, that's bringing down that black, which I don't want to happen. Let me add this back in here. So that has to dry a little bit more. Yep. Ooh. Getting that black right in there. 
So I'm going to let that dry some more. Actually, that doesn't look too bad because it does have to be a little darker through here, but also has to be a little bluish. So let me get some of my blue. Maybe it'll just kind of work its way through here. pretty good actually get some of that darker in through some of this and I'm gonna get my little number two and uh, go into my glazing liquid so that I can move that around a little bit better some of my blue. So this has to be kind of bluish here. Bluish on this part of the nose right over here. Bring some of this down into that. Interesting, this thing, whatever this is called. I have to look the name up, and I'll have that in the bottom of my info. Uh, what this is actually called, I'm not sure, but I know I saw it on the site. And if anybody has the, you know, name, just send it to me. can't find it. It's starting to shape up. Shaping up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Well, this is going to come up a little bit more, so I don't want to cut off his nose. It has to come up also right to about here. through here it gets a little grayer so I'm going into my glazing liquid with gray and we're going to come up just come up a little bit just a little bit just kind of bringing that gray into it
it's going to be darker in through here. Where those little lines are decent, you know. I think we've got that pretty well in, but I want to bring some of that white down or that gray. I guess it should be more gray here. It has to come down a little bit. It's a uh, gray actually. Okay. This is sort of like a nostril right here. So I'm making that like that. I'm just gonna come up like this so that it looks more like a nostril. This one here you can't see. So, we'll just leave it as is. Okay. All right. And I'm going to get some of my dark gray. Kind of fill this part in here. So I want to get some dark in this up into these areas here. This is sort of um, grayish blue. So I'm just adding some of my cerulean blue to my Payne's gray. And we're just going to fill this in here with a smaller brush. going over this again too with some lighter but it, it has like a bluish cast to it now if you find that your paint is drying you know by all means use your glazing liquid that is what it is for. Okay, so this point right here has a little bit of this blue. So I'm just going to kind of feather it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a lot of this here white. So I am going to get my number 14. I guess this is number 14. I need to get a little bit more white onto my palette. Just using the um, Academy and you know what I wanted to get these a little bit wider so I'm going to go into that get these wider a little bit okay 
Now, um, these areas up in here are kind of white. So I am going to get the white in. Then we're going to go over it with some blues and a very pale blue. That is pretty white. Um, so that's, let's see, I want to, that um, color that I had mixed prior with the Payne's Gray and the Cerulean Blue, it has like a color like that. Okay, we're going to fill this in right up and through here. Sort of like that grayish blue. Kind of overlap here a little bit. Feather it in just nicely. Comes down here a little bit. That's part of the ear. And uh, we're going to feather some of that. Well, actually, I don't know what that is. It's not the ear. It's just the way that that is on his uh, fur. Well, I guess this doesn't really have fur, but uh, and you can just dry brush this on because we're going to be going over it a little bit too with some lighter shades here. Values, some lighter values. Basically we just want to get some of this in so Um, in through here, it is darker, so we're going to make that dark. That's the Payne's Gray. And I'm going into that nice blue again. I'm kind of just bringing some of that down in here. I can. Without too much. Ugh. Yeah, that didn't turn out too good. So I'm going to get that, mix that up again. Payne's Gray, Cerulean Blue, and some white. black up into that. It's kind of like a gray shade here, but a lot of that is just being blended in. And um, that's kind of what I'm going to do right now is blend this in with the, the blue that's here. Just blend it in. Just blend it in. Because it's a mark on his uh, fur. It's just a mark. So I'm going to blend it in.
All right, so let's get some gray, a little bit of gray. So I'm just mixing my um, Payne's gray, a little bit of blue, and some white, and my glazing liquid. Glazing liquid. All right. Just going over this. So when you glaze, you're just going lightly over something. Blending, blending, blending. Kind of bringing it into that white that we have there. Adding it into some of that bluish shade so that we don't have the um, lines. We don't want lines. I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit more here because I don't want it too dark here. Kind of shadow it in. And uh, this probably is just going to get like, this is just light shining on here. So we can put a little bit of that bluish shade in here. Just kind of like go over that a little bit. Kind of fade out into that. All right. So the ears, let's go to the ears a little bit. Now we're going to probably, it looks like we have a little bit of brown in those ears. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to clean off my brush and get some more paper towel. It might be like a pink, it's, because my printer isn't that great, it sort of reminds me of a pinkish brown. So, well, anyways, we're going to get this part in because this is all white in through there, but it is like shaded again. So I'm going to get the white in. Definitely white here. Definitely white. I have some white here. Okay. Try not to go over your lines if you can, you know, like have them show through a little bit because you're going to need those lines for uh, textures. that's quite good because some of this is going to be that gray. So we'll just keep moving that up. Moving it up. It's all gray. Sort of that bluish gray, you know? Again, once again with the bluish gray. Uh, and there is a piece of black that, or dark, I should say, the Payne's gray I'm using right in through here. I think, oh, no, wait. Yeah, it's right here. Not a lot. Like 
the little upside down U's here. Okay. Now I'm going to use um, I'm going to use some of that bluish gray. I'm going to make those little uh, pieces where you know those shadows. So we're going to do that right where these are. It's like right above this so we want to make sure I, I'm just looking at a picture uh, of this thing <laughs> whatever this thing is um, it's interesting very interesting very interesting little thing and you know what I am going to make this here as a shadow kind of thing now Let's get our white and get these coming where it looks like it should. Get rid of some of these harsh lines. Get rid of the harsh lines. Just want them to blend up in. Always blend, blend, blend. I mean, you gotta figure out where his head is, you know, and where the spaces are and how they come down. Alright, so we're going to go lighter in through here. We're going to get some of that lighter. I'm going to get my white and just kind of glaze over it. Glaze, glaze, glaze. See, when you glaze, how it just kind of just lightly goes over all this. Just glazing. But yet that blue is sh still shining through. some of that down in through this kind of softening it just to glaze it I'm glazing and I'll probably add another glaze to this but it's still showing through and yet it looks 
pretty cool my side I think rinse that out now I'm going to glaze over some of this and all I am doing is just using my brush with some white and water just some water that's all For that to really shine out, I am going to add some white close to it. I'm going to add a little bit more white to that. Glaze it. Just and a little white. Okay, now I'm gonna get some a brush with some white. All right, so now I'm going to go into my gray here, still using the same old brush, kind of getting this just a little bit more. Okay, maybe just kind of go over some of this a little. I'm going to get some more glazing liquid out on my palette. Mm, that's looking pretty fierce. What do you think? Looking pretty fierce. Get more glazing liquid out. Because I'm going to have to use a couple passes here with the glazing liquid. Wait until I get the mouth in there. Oof, that's going to be scary. Scary. I'm going into my gray here. Uh, right in here, it's really, well, I'd like that to be a little lighter than that, but I don't know if I can get it. Let's see here. Without messing that up, I might have to use my fingers a little there. And like maybe I'd like to get this a little darker and through there too. Just cause I want that to be dark. some dark in through here around the eye looks good a little dark right in here Okay, so outline this in dark. Outline that in dark. Very dark. Okay, and uh, actually this is kind of dark also. Okay. 
glazing liquid here. some gray I might have to um, fix that a little bit Okay, I'm going to rinse this out. I want to, well, actually, I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm going to go into my blue. And a little white. Because right here, this is very close right here. And it comes around. So, let's get some white, kind of blend that in a little bit, there we go. Alright, we're going to blend that out, blend that out. looking good all right so right in here we've got that little bit of black again it's sort of like a grayish black so let's make some gray black I'm still using my Payne's gray still recording it's just a good thing all right my brush here all right so I'm gonna go over that a little bit more uh, with my number 12 and I'm gonna go into my glazing liquid and some white. Okay, just lightly keep going over this. I'm 
happy with this. Same with in here. I'm going to use some of my gray here and I'm going to go right above his eye right there okay darker and through here and down darker and through here a bit coming down this is darker also. It just blends in the black. careful here how I'm blending kind of just getting some of that so it doesn't look so sharp either you know you want to kind of blend over this so it just kind of blends with the rest of this. And let me get this here because this is definitely off kilter here. A little bit off kilter. Just have to fix it up. See how I'm just blending it up a little, not going real hard with my brush, just blending it. Now I'm getting my little number two, and I'm going back into my white, because this needs to come up some. This needs to come up some. Still, without going too crazy over that. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, this has that blend also, so we're going to blend some of that up. I'm going to get my black. Glazing liquid. Kind of just go up on this a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Now, there is a little patch of white that comes off of here. So I'm just going to kind of put that in. Blend it out. Just blend it out. And 
and there's this little patch that comes down here, which I think I already have. I just got to blend it a little bit better. Blending it up, just lightly blending it up. Okay. Now let me stand back here a minute. Ooh, yeah, that looks scary. I think it's starting to shape up pretty good. We got to get the teeth, the ears, and I think we're set. Might have to put a couple highlights in that, uh, the eyes and stuff. But yeah, I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more of my blue and white in here. Let me see. I'm rinsing out my brush here. Just to kind of blend that a little bit better. of that lighterness lightness I'm gonna grab some of the glazing liquid and just kind of glaze it out get it a little bit I want the light around this you know um, it needs to be lighter now let's see here I'm gonna grab my Oh, brush. Kind of blend that nicely. There we go. Probably need a little bit more of my cerulean blue here. it's needing some blending in through here and it's uh, I can see that some of the canvas is showing and I don't like that so just gonna kind of blend it in a little bit more add a little white darker shade back in but I just want to get this light light and looking like clouds sort of you know just get this. like he's coming out of the clouds I don't know where he's coming from but it was all kind of hocus pocus kind of thing so I don't know just don't know since I have never seen the first one I'm not sure what this is
Oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. All right. So far, so good. Got that better. Looks good. So, uh, we'll let this dry a little bit, and then we'll go in for the ears and the most important part, the teeth, which are really ugh, gruesome looking. So, this should be uh, interesting, the rest of this. All right. So we're going to work on the uh, mouth next, I think, and we'll be finishing up with the ears. Uh, I want to get a lot of that detail in with the red. So I am using quinacridone red, quinacridone. I put a little bit of that out on my palette. And um, we still have a little bit of gray in here. I want to get that in there also. So I'm going to start with my number of eight simply simmons uh, i'm going to go into my gray mix a little bit more of that up okay i'm just using some of my um Payne's gray and i have a touch of blue in there nothing fancy nothing too fancy and i'm just going to go right in through here with that Maybe a little bit of my glazing liquid just to kind of get it a little bit in there. It's just on the upper part of his, this part here, just on the upper part of his, Somewhat a little darker in some spots here, but I'm gonna get the light in first. Now right here, it's a little gray, but it starts to get a little darker, and it starts to get more of a um, reddish tone. So uh, let me get some dark in there. I'm gonna go into my straight Payne's gray, just straight. Kind of give it this little. Probably will need some um, a better brush here. This one's not doing what I need. I need something that'll get in there. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll use a round brush. Let's see. I'm going to use my um, it's a Simply Simmons round, and I think it's a number. Well, I can't tell. Maybe a number one. I need to get in there very closely without. You know, go into my glazing liquid here because I don't want this oh gee whiz my brushes are really in bad shape it looks like hmm. oh, we can dab it in here we'll just dab it in like that a little bit up here because it's kind of just like blending from the top from the top okay I'm going back into my gray I'm going to rinse that out a little bit get back into my gray that I just mixed kind of like give it a little bit of dimension here maybe go into some of my white since some of this is a little dark, you know, we want to get those. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. All right, so now I'm going to get some of my um, Cad Yellow out on my um, palette because there is a yellowish color into these teeth. And uh, I want to get some of that yellow in there. And I'm just going to go straight in with that. Didn't rinse off my brush just kind of getting that edge on there just getting the edge on and then I'm going to go over it with some white and some of that red these are part of the teeth so you have to watch what you're doing just Keep an eye on what you're doing here. Okay. We have 
have the bottom too. We have those coming up. I'm just going to put a little bit of color in there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to rinse that out now. Rinse that out. Now I'm going to go over it with some white. closer in so and this will probably need to dry a tad in order for me to go over it and glaze it the way it should be some of my red and I'm going to mix it in with some of my Payne's Gray and this is where it really starts to pounce out and look vicious look very vicious going to use my um, filbert here. Uh, fortunately, I think it's a number two or a number four filbert. I'm going to use that just to be able to get into some of these crevices better. It's almost like I'm dry brushing. a little bit, dry brushing it. Going over that darkness, getting some of this in here too, because this is like really weird the way it is. It's got that Alright, so I want to get this dark back in the back here. make some more of that red and uh I'm going to go straight into my uh, Payne's Gray now because this has to come up. I'm 
get that brush in the water and I'm going to get my flat brush my um, my uh, flat it's not a flat it's actually um, oh gosh sometimes I forget this stuff but anyways it's a bright that's it it's my bright I want to kind of just get that outlined a bit more make it look very vicious looking straighten it up a bit make it cleaner Let me get some gray. Mix some gray again. Now that's on my brush. And right in here, it's a little bit gray. And in here, it's a little gray. Okay. And in here, it's kind of that gray goes over this here. This is kind of getting the um, highlights. We're just uh, glazing over things here. Just glazing it over. Now, I'm going to go into my straight white, straight, straight white, and go over these teeth again. I want the yellow in that, but I also want some highlights in that too. Just using the side of my brush, just the side of my brush. There we go. And right up there, it should be a little bit gray here too. There we go. And I gotta get some of that highlight in there, that darkness. So I'm just gonna take that on the side of my brush, dab it a little bit on my palette. I know I get that in there if I can. Just kind of blend it. Might have to kind of put a little bit more white in there so that it <clears throat> doesn't look so like a big black spot there. I don't want it too light because <clears throat> it actually should be more gray. There we go. With that redness. Needs that red. Okay, this here has to come down like into a. There we go. Let's get some of that red here. <clears throat> My little, there we go. Has to have that. A little bit of where that tooth now. Just gonna get some of that white, and it comes down here like that. There we go. Wow. Okay, that's amazing, huh? That really looks cool. Get this a little darker around here also. Let's see how he looks. Ooh, he looks ferocious. What do you think? He looks pretty ferocious, huh? Alright, so let's get those ears. Uh, I have some burnt sienna. 
I have it's Utrecht burnt sienna. I'm gonna put that out on my palette. <clears throat> I'm gonna fill in this tail a little bit more too. I think it just needs to be filled in some. It does have a tail. There. Very good. And right here, I want to get that a little bit better. Okay, good. Good, good. Well, let's get that a little bit nice and smooth here. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put this on my palette. It does have a titch of red in it with, um, and white, definitely a lot of white. So I'm going to mix this up uh, to make the ears. I'm going to be using that uh, bright brush again. I think that's my best bet. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit to the side, a little bit of red great deal of white here Let's see. okay so this is what I mixed boy my palette looks like crap right now so I just took a little bit of the red a little bit of the brown and I just mixed it up with quite a bit of white and this is the color of the ears right in here the inside the inside of this ear same here side And um, there's a lot of shading through all this. Uh, so we're going to get some of the black on our brush. I just wiped that out. Just kind of dabbing in. And we're going to get this a little bit just to shade it in. The shading kind of makes it look more popped out. Kind of gives it a little bit more punch. makes it look more real can come up through here all right and then we'll do the side here over here too gonna just get that nice and shaded in so it doesn't look like it's just laying there on this canvas get it so it looks more normal and real and basically it's dry brushing I have hardly any paint on my brush at all just pulling it into here just giving it a little bit of color all right now I'm going to rinse that out. I am going to grab some of my white. Oh, you know what? I see more of that. Hold on one second. I'm going to get a little bit more brown into that mixture. Just a tad. Just a tad. And right in here, I see a little bit of this. And then it gets dark. So, let's see, up in here it's a little bit more blue, so now I can rinse off, right, wipe my brush off, 
and get some more of that blue and white. That's my cerulean blue. And right up in here, it's kind of bluish right in there. It's blue. Okay, it's blue through here, of course. Then I'm going to get my white. Of course, we have this blue that comes over here. And here, it comes really close to that. There's also a tight little bit of that blue right along this here. Okay. Have some of that blue in here, of course. Just want to make sure I get all my blue in here. Right in here, there's quite a bit of blue, so I'm just going to go with straight blue, cerulean blue on my brush, and just dab it in there, right in here. It's a dark. Um, get some of that blue right in through here, some of that. Just kind of like lightly brushing over this. Just lightly brushing over it with a dry brush. I'm not sure why it's blue in there. I don't know. I don't know what this uh, thing looks really looks like. <laughs> I just know that it's um, interesting. It's an interesting character. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We're going to put some around the eye there. Very interesting character. A little on right there. Okay. So now I want to get my white on my brush and start to fill this in here. And there's still a little blue on my brush, but that's okay because we don't like it real white. We want it to be a little bit like it has some kind of Something going on there. Right here, it's very, very narrow. Very narrow. Here, we gotta put some of that in. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna kind of work that in that. And we've got to get some of that dark in here, too. So we're going to just go over that very nicely, very easily done. Kind of blew that up a little bit. All right, and I, I'm just going to go slightly over this here. Um, I don't want that to be so dark. There we go. Same here. Same here. Now, if you hear my phone, I do apologize that my phone is on. The reason it's on is I have my dog at the groomer, so I have to wait for the groomer to call me, which I'm doing now. I'm waiting for that, too. All right, now, let's get a little dark in here. Just picking it up on the side part of my brush. If you can see that... Um, Let's see here. Can you see that? Not a lot on my brush. And I'm actually going to take some of it off because I don't want too much on there. And I'm going to just go like this. Some in here. Okay. Some of that color that I mixed up here. I want it right in here, right in this area here. And there is a little bit of a white piece right by here, right in this little section right here. So I'm just going to bring that down. Kind of come over this a little bit. I'm trying to get that to look like a mirror. Get some of this here, like this. There we go. Now we got it. And then just come down here. And I think, I think we 
might have it all done. I think that was it. I'm going to get this like a grayish blue here. I've got to get some of that blue on my brush. Just rubbing it out. Just go over this a little. Right in here. Just go over it a bit. With a dry brush because there's some blue into that. Some of my gray, some of my gray here, right here. There's some gray. And then go into my white. I'll have the information on the bottom of um, what we are doing here. Uh, it is a collaboration, and I will put that in uh, as far as like wh who's all involved and things like that. I got to get that a little darker. Let's see. I'm gonna get some black. My black. My paints gray. My blue. Here's kind of that color also, so just want to like fill it in kind of just lightly going over this, blending it up. Okay, and I'm gonna get my little teeny weeny. Uh, round brush going into my white here. And I think right in here it should be real white. And then I'm going to go over this a little bit more with, um, let's see here, my dark shade here that I made now kind of just go over this area here because this is like oh that's too dark too too dark let's get some more of that blue just kind of like lightly go over this area here with that color Same in here. Got some of that in there. Even in through here. You don't see it very well, but it's in here. It's got the weirdest, um, it's a weird looking thing. Okay. So here, I'm coming down a little bit more. I'm just going to come down a little bit more. Just lightly going over that so that it goes up that way. This actually comes in, so just kind of like lightly brushing it. So it's gray looking. Kind of just brushing over some of this, making it a very light color. Now, because that, we got to get that a little darker up and through there. So I'm going to go through my Payne's Gray again. Just kind of getting it a little darker through here. Okay. Because I think that's sort of like a nostril, but we really don't see it like that. Kind of just blending it in. Blending. 
blending it in. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I am going to get my bright and I am going to get some of my gray, very pale gray, and I'm going to glaze. I am going to glaze. So I gotta mix up a little bit of gray. A little bit paint paints gray with my white. I don't think that might work. Okay. Cleaned out my brush. And through here. Just wanna go over it some. So, oops, that might have been too much. I pressed down too hard. Because right now, this here is very, very gray. Very gray. And right up in here, it should be a little darker, actually. So I'm going to just go into my Payne's Gray. Make this a little darker. go into my gray again. Kind of just, okay, now I'll go into my white so this comes out a bit better here. There. See how you can make things pop? Just have to keep working at it because if you don't, it won't look right. It won't look authentic, you know, like it's it's got some dimension to it. You want that dimension. I think we have it now. All right, so I'm going to put a couple little highlights in the eyes. Um, I just like highlights in the eyes. And what I usually do is I go into my white. So we've got the white here. Use the back part of my um, brush. Just the back part, the wooden part. Kind of just, I'm going to stick a couple right here. This brush might not be able to do it because of the size here. Okay, let's see if we can get a better brush. Maybe my round brush will be better. Just join into my white. Just kind of like giving it a little dazzle. one right here too. Put one right there. Little dazzle in the eyes. I like it. Well, this looks like one of those more tights, whatever they are. And I hope you enjoyed this painting. I am going to get my um, pen. I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to sign it. And maybe this time I will put my name on here. I'm going to go over here. Um, There we do have it. Okay. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this um, collaboration. Don't forget to check out the other artists. And please like and subscribe. I would love it if you could do that. Uh, I really would like to hear your comments. See how you feel about this. If you think it looks scary enough, I think it does. And um, until next time, happy painting. Bye.